Hey lads, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Shek My Love and I hope you're doing great. I hope you're doing fine. Thank you for supporting this channel. So today I have another exciting video. It's about buying cars. I went to the bond recently because I felt like I needed a car. It is raining so much and discovered a lot, a lot of things that I didn't know or that I had not considered before choosing or or deciding to buy a car before you go into that video i'd like to shout out the following people thank you for supporting for subscribing for sticking and for sticking by on this channel you really appreciate it so if you need or you want a shout out just like these people go ahead and subscribe watch until the end like the video and leave a comment in the comment section i'll make a shout out to you next time so i've been thinking of buying a car of course that right i've been thinking of buying a car because of certain reasons because of the things that i'm engaged in because of of course of course growth and development comes along too so i've been thinking of buying a car but i really didn't know which brand which type to buy which type to go for which type is so is convenient for me of <laughs> course i know that car. i know my dream car i know it perfectly well yeah. but i have not reached that level of buying it so meanwhile before as we wait for that dream car to come of course we have to be having something that we're using of course so recently i decided to think about it and to put it in my plans like owning a car and before i did that i went to the bond uh primarily i wanted to buy a used car a second is it a second hand? I don't know, a second, I don't know. I used car, not a brand new one. But I also considered a lot of things. I didn't want to buy something and then I, I'd be in the garage every now and then. I didn't want to stress over a car. Or, but I, I spoke to a few people that have got some knowledge about cars and they walked me through it. So I went me and my brother went to the bond to a certain bond one of the bonds in kampala and i'm planning to go and one to compare and contrast to see whether i can come up with something that is better or so me and my brother decided to go to the bond of course of course to make some inquiries and of course to to, to see what can go into my budget if I decide to buy a car because I really, really That's need it. Yeah, really. So, as I was going through the cars, I tested them. I was testing each and every car that I felt like, yeah, I could afford this. I can afford this or I can give this a certain period of time and I get this. So, I checked around six cars. So, I'm um, checking. This is the fourth car that I've checked mm, it is quite okay it is fine like I, have, I love the seats and then deep like down here it is very nice because your legs are free just like here you can see my legs are free because it has that deep pressure inside and then it is it is a eight seater car you can actually be like 10 inside here and I love it I love the interior too I think I'm in love with this. Let me see. Let me check on the second, on the 51. I see. Yeah, but there was not much to do for me to do. So along the way, I discovered a lot of things that needs to be considered before buying a car or before deciding to pay for a car. Even when you find it in the bond even if it is brand new there are certain things that you should consider or should be considered in order not to make any mistake in order not to regret after paying or spending money on that particular car the following are the things of factors that should be considered in no particular order according to my findings according to the people that i spoke to according to what i got from the bond one of the major factors that you should consider is the purpose of the car why are you buying that car 
like what is it going to do is, is it for a business is it for luxury is it for hiring like why are you buying that car you should, like you should ask yourself that question before before you decide to go for a car number two uh the cost the cost of that car in terms of buying it in terms of fuel in terms of repair in terms of spare parts because in most cases you can buy a car it can be good it can be cheap but if you're not realistic if you're not so realistic in selecting cars you're going to buy a car which is so difficult to get it spare so guys before you do that you have to make research about it a certain car that you want to buy so the cost of the car the cost of this i think we should consider is the consumption consumption of that car how much are you going to spend on fuel how how, how much does it consume in a week in a day in like you have to realize that currently fuel is so currently fuel is so 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 expensive it is real expensive and don't expect it to go back to the cost it was on pre in the previous years so you have to also consider that because once you buy that car you're not going to if it is for luxury you're not going to be getting anything out of it i mean, you're going to be putting money into it until you decide to sell it off another thing that i think we should another thing that i think we should consider before buying a car is comfortability so this is the fifth car i'm in impressa subaru but guys <laughs> I'm even worried of it, scared of it, but it is nice, very nice. Not the interior, but there is a big job here. Because you're buying your own car, this is a car that you're going to be using to move from this place to another. This is the car that is going to help you, enable you get to a certain destination. Are you comfortable? look at look at its seats is it are they comfortable are they not going to make your back pain isn't it going to be a problem look at the interior design are you comfortable with it do you love it are you in love with it other than buying a car and then within one month you're just tired of it you feel like you want to change the seat you feel like you want to change the interior so are you comfortable with that with everything are you comfortable with its speed are you comfortable with its consumption are you comfortable with everything that comes along with the car that you're willing to buy so i discovered that and i hope i don't make any mistake when it comes to selecting a car that i want to buy another thing i think we should also consider is demand the demand of the car because of course you're not going to die in that car you're not going to drive that one car until you die okay every single day there is a new car that is being made every th single day there is like there is something new something better something interesting something luxurious so the demand of the car that you're willing to buy or you're, you're, you're deciding to buy right now ask yourself if you if you drive it for like one year or two years is it going to be is it going to still be on the market is it will you be in position to sell it off and then you get another and then another thing that i realize is to buy to go to a bond or in any place where you can buy that car and then if you feel like changing you can bring that car back you top and then you get your dream car or your favorite car so if that bond doesn't do that i don't advise you to buy it because you're going to drive that car within four to five months or six you're going to be having another option or another opinion about it you're going to be having something else that is in your head it's just like um doing makeup today you're going to be yearning for imani and then the next time we're going to see uh fenty beauty you're going to be in love with that and then the next day you're going to be with a 
like in love with another brand so you have to consider that too rather than uh, buying a car at 30 million and then after six months or one year you can't sell it off at even 25 million or 20 million shillings so that's what i discovered and i hope i don't make any mistake if you're planning on buying on buying a car in uganda or any another thing before you bring a car before you pay for a car please have a mechanic have a personal mechanic that um you trust please excuse me take that person with you in a bond let him check the car let him check the engine let him check everything the crash like everything let him check everything for you make sure you go with someone who knows everything about cars okay so because for you, you can't do it and i personally i can't do it alone okay i can't do everything because i don't know what i don't know how a perfect engine looks like or a a damaged engine looks like or sounds like so you need that you really really need that thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you learned something and if you're planning on buying a car i hope you don't forget the following or the above mentioned points or factors so with all that being said allow me sign and leave you on that see you in my next video love you bye See that? She's really nice.